So yesterday I found out the hard way that a um, few other people have the same idea of getting out of their house. So today's, uh, oh, I put my seatbelt on. Today's video, um, I'm gonna be out on my boat. I figure I don't wanna get out to a spot and then there'll be a ton of people. And then I, I'm put in a position where I either gotta fish next to somebody or um, or leave. So I figure if I'm out on my boat, I'll be at least, I can move away from people. Um, I got to the ramp and there was, you know, where I normally like fishing, there had to been 10 people out here fishing. So I'm, I'm kind of glad I made that decision because um, I really don't want to be fishing elbow to elbow with somebody. Um, one, because yeah, you get your lines mixed up with the current that we're going to see today. And two, just a preventative uh, factor to, uh, you know, not get sick or get anyone else sick. So stay tuned for today's trip. Um, we're going to try and uh, anchor a few spots and find catfish and perch. Um, not sure how it will be because the temperature just dropped about 20 degrees and went from 70 yesterday to just hovering above 50 right now. This morning it rained and it was in like the 40s, but it is slowly warming up today. So uh, I'm curious to see how the, uh, the bite will be. All right, today is March 21st, day five of this coronavirus break. Um, right now I'm on my way uh, upriver to try and find some perch, maybe some catfish, some stripers. So stay tuned, uh, hopefully we'll have a good show today. All right, so this is the rig I'm using for the big catfish uh, rod. Um, typically the only thing I'm gonna catch on this is like bigger cats because of the size hook. So I got 3.0 Gamagatsu octopus hook two feet a liter of uh, 40 pound fluorocarbon barrel swivel and then a egg sinker now this is what you would consider a drift rig uh, i like these because if i'm using my bait runner the fish can take the bait without feeling the weight and i i will it will give me time to you know click it out and set the hook um the other thing i don't like about uh, fishing like a three-way rig is if there's a lot of grass like there is today um it seems to get a t it attracts all the grass or uh reeds that are washing up river this is a little bit of a cleaner way to fish and i mean i prefer using this um the only disadvantage about this type of rig is with a three-way you can change the weight you know easily for this i'd have to cut the rig and just retie it which isn't a big deal but that's just one of the disadvantages of using this as usual, I'm going to be using the Sabiki rig um, for perch and catfish. This one's going to be fished with uh, grass shrimp. My other rod is going to have um, night crawlers on it. It's just a triple hook rig. I do have a slip bobber rig uh, ready to go just in case. And if I do see some stripers popping on the surface, I do have a soft plastic that I could throw at it. Now for today's trip, bait I'm be using is grass shrimp and Canadian night crawlers uh, I'm a little too cheap to spend money on blood worms so um, night crawlers work just as good for catfish than blood worms do if I wanted to target stripers today I would probably shell out the money for a dozen bloods but uh, earthworms seem to be or night crawlers earthworms wherever you want to call them seem to work pretty well and they're relatively cheap so stay tuned hopefully we could get some catfish and perch all right so what's kind of crazy i don't know if you can see on the screen but it is saying that the water temperature is 50 oh, i'm sorry the surface temperature is 56.3 right now and it is the top of the tide so the the temperature has definitely risen in the last week uh yesterday we had weather up to 70 degrees out here so um what i'm gonna be doing is trying to move up river maybe locate some of these fish and then anchor on top of them. Uh, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to, you know, target them, what you should be looking for, and how to properly anchor on top of a spot. So stay tuned. Now what I'm looking for right now as I'm trying to get to this first spot is what I'm trying to find is the spots that they seem to be sitting in. Right now, 
it seems like they're sitting on the edge of holes see i keep marking more stripers there's a striper right there um key though is you want to be able to locate enough fish worth anchoring on otherwise you just keep deploying the anchor and you know it doesn't seem like it's a effective way of fishing if, if you're not right on top of them see now i am still looking i'm not seeing much right now but what i'm going to be doing is changing the water depths that i'm fishing right now so see i'm starting to mark more fish about eight feet off the bottom right there now that's 17 foot as i go deeper i am marking some fish on the bottom but nothing too crazy there's a little pile of fish 18.6 um but not like i was marking earlier so sometimes you got to do a little bit of driving it does require a little bit of patience because uh oh now that's a good mark right there yeah that's a great mark right there so what we're gonna do is adjust to the tide so the tide's going out right now so what i'm going to be doing is turning my boat whoop, into yeah there we go and then into the wind got the anchor right here wind's blowing off so i'm going to drop the anchor on this side now the key is making sure you have enough slack line, no knots in there. Uh, that's no good. All right, so I finally got it untangled. Note to self, next time I put away um, the anchor, don't do it in a rush. And what we're just gonna do is do just a figure eight. Let me get the camera where I can see. Go cross, loop, and lock it in. All right, bobber's out. Just trying to get the line from being hung on my tip of my rod. There we go. This wind's not making it any easier, honestly, but you know, gotta deal with the conditions. They are what they are. I could just get this bobber is stop getting this line you stop getting hung up on my tip there we go Getting a hit, getting a hit. Fish on. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, cat. Cat daddy. Damn, I was beginning to think, uh, beginning to think I wasn't anchored right. Let's get this down. Uh, this is the first fish of the day. You don't want to cooperate, but. Looks to be a juvenile channel cat. Uh, not a very big one, but you know what? First fish of the day, can't complain. The no skunk uh, streak continues. Let's get this guy back in the water. All right, just got that to the bottom. Something's messing with this big rod, but doesn't look very big. Oh, oh, oh. Fish on. Ooh. Come on, perch. Ah, uh, another catfish. Well, no shortage of catfish today. Well, here you go. All right, just got that to the bottom. Something's messing with this big rod, but doesn't look very big. Oh, oh, oh! Fish on. Ooh. Come on, perch. Ah. Uh, a another catfish well no shortage of catfish today well here you go all right so we got time for one more spot i'm gonna try 
uh, moving a little further up river the water temp is still pretty damn warm with the outgoing it's still 56 and change but stay tuned hopefully uh you can find some fish all right so we're moving to the next spot uh i stopped at a feeder creek didn't see much so now i'm just moving further up river i know there's fish around uh i am marking them i just uh one thing that is playing in today with all this current there's a ton of grass and and cattails in the water so if you're not constantly on top of your rod there has been a, a ton of weeds and stuff getting stuck on my line that does uh, affect the fishing i i've never really had great luck when it's like real dirty especially when your lines are uh you constantly getting grass on them but uh stay tuned I'm gonna keep looking for fish Well, bonehead move of the day. Um, somehow I lost my anchor. So right now I'm currently, uh, I ran my boat into the mud or sod banks. Uh, I don't know if the chain rusted, but I still have my rope as you can see. But where the end is, I uh, I don't know. I, just, I threw it overboard and boop, it was gone. Um, so that sucks, but good news is, you know, I could always replace an anchor. It was a cheapo one that I got on Craigslist from somebody. So hopefully I could get one soon because it's very tough to do this type of fishing without an anchor. I mean, most people, you know, get upset and then they call it a day, but, you know, who knows how many days I'll be able to even get my boat in the water, so... You know, you just got to adapt, you know, learn from your mistakes. So I promise you I'll learn from that one. I was looking at the chain too earlier this week saying, man, I should probably replace it. And Well, I learned my lesson. Make sure that, you know, your anchor's secure. Otherwise, you know, you end up having to dock your boat on the meadow and, and that's your way of anchoring. I'll put this rod down. Fish on. Let's go. What do we got? What do we got? Let me get this rod out of the way. There we go. Hey, another catfish. Cat daddy. See, you gotta look at the bright side, man. I might have lost an anchor, but still catching cats. Now, right now, I'm fishing in uh, 13 feet of water. I'm actually sitting in two feet, but where I'm fishing is about 13 feet when I marked it. Uh, so I'm like right fishing off the edge of this channel. Ooh, I have been getting hits, but a lot of small ones, to be honest with you. Um, and judging by the catfish that I've been getting, there are a lot of small cats right now in this part of the river. All right, this is probably gonna be my last cast of the day because I do gotta get home. Um, let's see if we can't make some magic happen in the next few minutes. All right, getting a hit, getting a hit. Fish on. It doesn't feel very big, but it is a fish. While I say that, my other rod's getting slammed right now. Cat 
fish. Another cat. See what I mean about small cats? That guy is tiny, probably like three, four inches. We're going to get this fish back in the water, but I'm wondering why I'm losing so much bait. I mean, these guys are babies. All right, that's all the time I have today. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please, as usual, uh, if you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe uh, button down below. And if you like the video, throw, to, throw a comment, let me know. Have a great day. See you soon.